Hello everyone. This is Bridget from the EC Fitness Center. I am recording my weekly Tuesday 1115 AM yoga early because I'm going to be on vacation all of next week. So I'm going to upload this early. My meditation for Thursday 1115 AM is also uploaded. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns next week, please email Haley, Haley Jones at healthsource-solutions.com, and she will take care of you. And if you have not seen our 10-week transformational video, our movie trailer that Haley put together yet, please go back on our YouTube page, and it's at the top. And it's awesome. She did a really good job. And please let us know if you're interested to join. Um, we have quite a few people joined already, and we are super excited. And that starts Monday the 12th. We'll have our own Teams page. It's going to be your own personal goal um, for anything from weight loss to weight maintenance over the holidays to life balance or anything that you have. We're going to have topics of nutrition, workouts, weekly workouts. It's a fillable tracker and booklet that you get, um, as well as group um, chats if you want on the Teams page, or you can do one-on-one -on -one chats with Haley and I, um, or an accountability buddy. So it's totally up to you, but we're super excited. So check out the movie trailer and please email Haley with any questions and to sign up. So today's yoga, I'm going to do chair yoga and then some yoga poses around the chair. So if you're just sitting at your desk and you need to stretch, this is some good poses and stretches that you can do um, just while you're at your desk seated. All right, let's get started. Alrighty, from here, go ahead and ground your feet onto the ground. So if you have shoes on or socks or slippers, what I like to do is take them off and then get my feet completely grounded onto the earth. Now, as it gets colder, if you have your socks, that's fine. But I like to put my feet firmly onto the earth, close your eyes, hands either on your knees or your thighs or on your sides. Think about this as a seated mountain pose, palms forward. Inhale. Open mouth, exhale, again, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, nice job, taking our arms up, reach towards the sky, wiggle those fingertips, looking up, and hands to heart center. Nice job. Inhale, exhale, dropping the arms down. We're going to inhale, exhale, and reach that left arm up and over. Side body stretch here. Deep breath in. Exhale, dropping the arm. Inhale. Exhale, reaching over to the other side. You can grab onto the chair itself and stretch a little further. Some people like to put their hand on their leg. What's ever most comfortable for you. Side body stretch. Inhale, exhale, taking the arm down. Inhale. Arms high, hands to heart center. Nice job. From here, we're going to twist. So taking ourselves up and over our right shoulder. And then taking that opposite hand on that right knee. Look up and over. Twist. 
Keep the spine nice and long. Keep breathing, release, change to the other side, spine nice and tall and twist, looking up and over your left shoulder, using that opposite hand to press against and twist. Keep breathing. And release, nice job. Inhale, arms high. Hands to heart center, and then drop them down. From here, rotate your shoulders up to your ears, and then rotate them slowly back, taking them up. Inhale, exhale, and rotate them slowly back. So continue to do those circles up towards your ears and back. As you do this, try to think of relaxing the neck and just using the shoulder that pulls up back and around. So try not to squinch your neck. Keep your spine nice and tall, chin up. Keep breathing. Raise those elbows towards your ears and back. Nice and slow. Good. Keep breathing. Now take them one at a time, alternating shoulders. So you're moving your body, you can feel it in your obliques, the side of your body. Keep breathing and reverse. Move that forward. So up first and forward, up and forward. Nice, and now both forward, same time. Pull them up towards your ears and forward. Nice job. Inhale, your arms high, reach, wiggle those fingertips, hands to heart center. From here, taking your wrist, your right arm straight out to your side, drop that wrist down, apply pressure back towards you. I know we are on our computers so much. Wrist stretches are important. Pull it up, and again, apply some pressure back towards you, and then take that wrist roll one direction for three and the other direction for three. Nice job, left arm, drop it down, apply some pressure on those fingers towards you, and back up, pull it back, and three rolls one direction and three rolls the other direction. Inhale, arms high, and hands to heart center. From here, we're gonna take our arms straight out to our side. Goal posts are cactusing our arms, and then take those arms and press them back towards the wall, opening up that chest area, opening up the heart chakra. Drop that head back and look up. That's opening up the throat. If that does not feel comfortable, go ahead and bring it back to neutral. From here, you can drop it, your chin down to your chest. Feel that stretch in the neck. Pulling those elbows back towards the wall. Inhale, exhale, drop the arms down, right ear to right shoulder. Take the hand, apply some pressure, stretch that neck. Keep breathing, left ear to the left shoulder, applying pressure, and breathe. Dropping it chin to chest, again, pressure on the back of the head, just slight pressure. Inhale, exhale, looking up, and then we're gonna slowly roll that neck. One big circle the direction, and then reverse it. Nice job. All right, from here, we're gonna take our right leg and bring it up our ankle onto our left knee. So get into this position, basically figure four stretch as if you were on the ground. Keep your chest up. I want you to keep your back straight. 
So don't round your back, keep it nice and straight, and then drop that chest down towards the floor as far as you can go, and then hold. You should feel that in that hip area and glute. If your legs are tight, you might feel this in your hamstring. Keep breathing. Nice release. Left leg up onto the right knee. Dropping that knee down. Chest up and drop it down towards the floor. Keep that spine straight. Feel that stretch in your glute and hip. Again, if your legs are tight, you might feel that in the hamstring. And release. Go ahead, straighten that right leg straight out from you. Pull the toes in towards your chest. Again, keep that spine straight. Drop that chest down towards the floor. You will feel this from your ankle all the way up your hamstring through your glute. As far down as you can go. The more flexible you are, the further down you'll go. Hold and breathe. And release. Straighten the left leg. Pull those toes back. Chest up. Spine straight. Stretch it down. Chest to the floor. Feel that from the ankle all the way up through your hamstring to your glute. Inhale. Exhale. Nice. Release. From here, taking our legs open. Grabbing onto the knees, and you're going to drop your head nice and slow down between your legs. Forward fold. If you want to bring your hands down to the ground, you can. And slowly roll up. Nice job. From here, I want us to think about in terms of if we're ready to get up and do some balance postures. And so you can go ahead and stand. From here, we're going to do tree pose. So go ahead and take yourself, kickstand that right leg out, open up that knee, keep the hips forward. Starting with the kickstand here, if you want to slowly bring your leg up to just underneath your knee, or go up a little bit higher, but above the knee. Just never put any pressure on the knee joint. So my leg is open as far as it can to the side. Hands can come prayer or tree branches up to the sky and hold. Breathe. If you lose your balance, go ahead and just get back into it. Tree pose. Inhale, exhale, drop it down, other side, kickstand on the left, and you're just popping up on your toes here, if you can't see it, I can't tell from here, and then go ahead and draw your leg slowly up, place that heel just underneath your knee, or place it up, and then your toes will be just above your knee, press that Leg open, hips forward, spine nice and tall, hands, heart, or tree branches up. Inhale, exhale, balance posture. Nice job. Inhale, exhale. Tree pose, drop it down. Go ahead and shake it out. Kick those legs. Feel any stress or tension moving down your legs and out your feet. I always like to take my hands up and then sweep in front of me, to the side and behind me, just to kind of get rid of anything we might be holding on to from media, any stress that we're holding on to. Um, from here, we're going to stretch the quad. So if you want to go ahead and grab on to your chair or the desk 
you can, or the wall, and kick that leg up, grab onto that foot, pulling that hip forward and the knee back. So runner's stretch. You also can do this seated on the floor if that's more comfortable. Inhale, exhale and release, other side. Kicking up that left leg, grabbing onto the foot, hip forward. So you're doing a pelvic, pelvic tilt forward, pull that knee back and hold. Inhale, exhale. Now, as you guys know, most of you, if you want to move into dancer pose from this particular stretch, you can. And so if you want to stretch your quad first and then you want to move the arm straight forward and then stretch it forward as you drop the leg back and up, you can move into dancer pose on either side. Nice job. Again, shake it out. Shake that head, shoulders, arms, glutes, hips, legs and feet. Feel that stress leaving your body. So one last balance posture for the day. Taking our arms out to our side, getting nice and strong on that, on that right leg. And then just go ahead and point your left toe and lift it up. Star pose. If you'd like to take this down, you can. You can take this down as far as you can to half moon, as far as you can. And if you want to, you can put a block on the ground or you could grab something that's sturdy down towards the ground and hold yourself in half moon. Or even touch it down and back up. Again, you, other side. Star pose, straightening out that opposite leg, popping up. Just hold here if you'd like, if your body's asking for that today. Otherwise, you could challenge yourself to go down as far as you can to half moon and hold. And bring it back up. Nice job. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much. Again, if you have any questions, please contact Haley while I am on vacation. And I can't wait to see you all on the 10-week program starting October 12th. Namaste. Thank you.